This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's talk about uh, the next match. It's between former partners, JTG and Shad. The former crime time lost the match on April 2nd. And then afterwards, Shad would turn on JTG and attack him. And that sets up a strap match. This is old school storytelling. When uh, you break up a, a tag match or a tag team, now we've got to have uh, a pretty stiff feud and, and got to have some stakes and some steps. And here we are a strap match. Uh, it gets half a star. What'd you think of this one? You know, crime time feels like almost a, a forgotten footnote in history, but two very capable performers. What'd you think? Well, mechanically it was not, wasn't horrible, but just, you know, it's one of those deals. You split them up, put them on a pay-per-view thinking somebody's going to care. There was no reason to care. You know, they hadn't done anything to actually have an angle and let it melt, melt down and, and start to feel and hear about, you know, what was the real reason they broke up, you know, and, and, and create a story for them. If you don't have a story, you know, just one guy, you know, the bigger guy turning on the smaller guy, that's not enough to get the audience involved. And if you watch the match, the audience just didn't care. And that's a tough position to be in. Uh, you know, the one thing that did st stand out, and maybe that was because there was some real heat there, but JTG beat the piss out of the big guy, Chad, with that strap. He was hitting him, I think, a lot harder than Chad was hitting him. And now Chad's a big, rugged guy. I don't know if he even noticed, but I noticed. And it, uh, you know, that part of it, as far as using the strap, was well done. It just, when you have a, a big card like that, you got a lot of big matchups. This one kind of jumped off the page. It's like, mm, don't know if this one was ready for pay per view. It's, it's weird because it feels like. You know, the, as we said, these are very capable performers, but do you think the crime time gimmick was just doomed from the start? I mean, there was only so much of an upside you could do with that. Uh, did the creative just run its course or did they get a raw deal? Just getting saddled with the gimmick. Why don't you think this was a bigger hit? Well, let me ask you this, just common sense, you know, and I'm, I hate going back to common sense. It's boring, but sometimes it makes you go ding. Holy shit, I never thought about it that way. Two thugs out kicking innocent citizens in the face <laughs> and rob and robbing them. How is that a babyface gimmick? Yeah. And the videos go back and watch them. That's what they are. Yeah. They're out on the streets kicking people's head off and robbing them. <laughs> Yeah. I don't guess you cheer that unless uh, it's Grand Theft Auto. I mean, yeah. I mean, unless I'm just in a different century and on the wrong planet, that's heat. And that ain't the way it was pushed. So there you are. Let's talk about the Extreme Rules show. There's one dark match. It's an interpromotional match. It's Kofi Kingston getting a win over Dolph Ziggler with Trouble in Paradise. Man, two, uh, two of the most talented performers in a dark match. I'd like to say that, uh, man, I don't know. It's just interesting to see two big talents like this. They're going to go on to be world champions. I guess everybody starts somewhere, but these guys were already showing what they were capable of in 2010. Were they not? Of course, you know, of course they were, but Conrad, you can't question this cause there isn't an answer. Right. If you, if you really try to dissect it and go back and ask somebody that was in, in a position to book that match where it was. They won't have an answer for you that makes any sense because it doesn't make any sense. Let's talk about the way. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.